without saying to sound like Dave and Attenborough, here we are with a soil pit on some granitic um, country and the Strathbogies. We're on an undulating plateau and we're in a lower slope, which surprisingly, when we look at the profile, doesn't show an awful lot of free quartz, which uh, often we'd expect in a, um, uh, in a granitic uh, landscape. But looking at this profile here, we can see that we've got a topsoil, which goes roughly down to about 20 centimetres there. We've got this gradation in colour between the brown and the uh, orangey colour. And then we get into this clay matrix here with the red mottling. And then when we get down the bottom, the red mottling continues, but the background colour tends to uh, go a bit paler as we go down the profile. Now, that's what we can see observing, um, but in terms, we've already textured these and the topsoil tends to be roughly a clay loam, might be a little bit of silt in there. We're somewhere between, around about a light clay at this level, and then we're into light medium to medium clay as we go further down. What we've also been looking at is whether there is a little bit of structure. Um, which is not obvious, but given that the redder colours are going through there, that it implies that drainage uh, is reasonable, that at least oxygen is and other gases are going up and down the profile. With the profile now in the sun, we can see that it's paled off a little bit, and, and we're just wondering, well, is there a little bit of uh, leaching <coughs> or bleaching going on at about this level at the junction between the organic dominated uh, topsoil and the mineral dominated subsoil. But generally there doesn't seem to be any sharp boundaries. The, the texture seems to go uh, gradationally all down there. Um, one thing we do find is that the roots are up around this area and we don't have quite so many going down, but um, there isn't the mark, super mark, mark, markedly change in texture. What we do find, and uh, um, Brad pointed out this earlier, is that we've got a number of these, uh, excuse me, number of these um, old root lines going down. You can just see these little dark streaks Hopefully you can see those going down there, and roots are following those down. Now it's just the question is, were they there before uh, these roots, and the roots have just followed them down, or have they sort of developed in situ with the, the roots? What they do indicate is that material has uh, been translocated down from the surface, down these channels, bringing material from up here and down there, and creating a micro environment for these uh, roots going down through there. So, and that's a very useful way of, you know, moving and also, you know, probably transpiration of gases or sort of coming back up. So th th that's a very interesting sort of sign. The red mottling is, uh, which we can see here, probably do with some other weathered um, material within uh, from the parent material and what's left. Some of it's a little harder, but we can take a little bit off <coughs> and see how dark red it is compared with the matrix colour behind. And I can see, if not you there, that there are little bits of uh, quartz and shiny minerals in amongst there, but it's predominantly a clay matrix. Very clay for a... Um, granitic profile. The pH was round about uh, four and a half or so at the surface. There's a suspicion that it drops a little bit in this layer here which would be intuitively uh, correct because uh, this is the area where there's probably likely to be a little bit of leaching um, where it sort of sits on slightly um, heavier material and then the pH is about five and a half all the way down. 
One, some of the issues that people have brought up with the low pH, some of the locals brought up the issues about aluminium and whether aluminium toxicity was an issue um, in this, certainly in this uh, surface area. Given the colours, um, we would also expect that the soils, given the bright, vibrant colours of the soils, are reasonably stable um, in water, given the uh, free iron oxide. And in our little petri dishes, uh, we shall show that uh, there may have been some slaking in the surface. That means the peds, the blocks of soil just break down but they don't disperse so it's not cloudy. And the peds, the remolded um, bits of soil from this part of the profile, they tend to uh, stay the same and they also do not disperse. So it's a reasonably stable um, profile. Um, the general consensus was this is one of the better um, profiles in the area given the variation in this paddock and uh, given that it's on a, on a lower slope. Yeah. Uh, well, even the surface, the trouble is we had two different people, and of course when you, you know, people use, you know, diff, you know, try and interpret those, those sort of things, but the, the first group we had, we had about four and a half on the top, about a bit below, about four and a half, a bit below, just at about 20, 25, and then it went to about five and a half all, all the way down. It was, it was definitely consistently around the five, five and a half mark further down. So it wasn't getting any more acid. The acidity was in the, was in the top.